Hi, so I wanted to show you a little Silk Naturals haul. This actually is not um, something where I purchased all these items together. It's more like I randomly had one item in this order, then in like another order, and I haven't had a chance to show them to you or to review them. So I thought I would just put them all together in one video because I only have a few items. So the first thing is this brow cream and I have it in the color blonde and how it works is it just swings out and snaps back in like a little square container here and um, I did use it today on my eyebrows I use the elf angled um, eyeliner brush I think it's called it's the studio line the one where it's um, entirely black the brush and I think it's like three dollars at Target <laughs> so I use that and I fill in my brows and it works really well I was using the um, Anastasia brow pencil before this and I feel like it's so solid that it like <laughs> rips out the hair of my eyebrows when I'm trying to put it on. It's like really hard. I mean, on the one hand, it's good because you don't want a super soft product and like accidentally draw on like a line too thick. But um, this is just so much easier to use. So I've been using this since I got it. Let me show you the color. So this is blonde and I feel like this is a really good match for me. And the product, it's creamy, but it's not um, all that soft. Like, it's relatively firm, and it's not, like, glossy, creamy, or anything like that. It works really good for your eyebrows. I don't have any problems with it, like, melting down or rubbing off or transferring or anything like that. So, I've been absolutely loving that. I'm usually not the kind of person <laughs> that finds the time to fill in her brows, and I usually don't have to. But since being pregnant, I feel like, you know, they tell you that you like lose hair when you're pregnant, but my hair on my head is like so thick that even if I did lose some, I wouldn't notice. But my eyebrows, I did, I feel like they're like gotten more sparse and I had this like one little area here where it looked like I was like, like I was, had a scar or something. There was like a line with, um, you know, that I needed to fill in. And so I've been using that and I've been, you know, really loving it. It's just so quick and easy and it works so well. So great product that. And then I have two eyeshadows that I absolutely love that I want to show you. And I actually, I press them because I keep all my eyeshadows pressed. But this one is called Doubloons. And it's a super pretty color. It's like a purple with a pretty strong pink iridescence to it. And I just absolutely love it. And the other color is called Blessings. And it is like a khaki green with a gold with a little bit of copper um, iridescent shine to it. And I'm actually wearing them both today because I thought, well, I'm going to do this video. I should wear as many products um, as I can to show you. And so I have uh, doubloons on my lid and then um, blessings as my crease color. And I'm not sure if <laughs> they're two colors that you typically would wear together, but I just wanted to show both of them to you, and I really love them. Um, Blessings, I think, makes an excellent crease color um, for me with my eyes. I really love colors like this as a crease color, so really happy with those. Those are absolutely excellent. And then I have two cream shadows that I wanted to show you. So the first one is called Curious. This was a gumball that Silk Naturals had a while back, can't remember when. And I'll swatch them both for you as well. But um, Curious is just kind of like a sparkly, silvery taupe color. And I love the formula of this. I think it's um, a really excellent eyeshadow when they had it as a gumball. You know, I only had positive feedback <laughs> for Silk Naturals after using it. Um, the color itself, the color works for me. It is sparkly. I would. Um, like something more pearly just for like every day 
but it's it's really nice and I'll show you what it looks like so there it is there and then right now um, I'm not sure when you're gonna watch this video but you know as of right now this was still available it's another gumball and it's basically another cream eyeshadow and this time it's called Wim. Basically um, they're trying to kind of get the perfect formula of cream eyeshadow and I guess this worked for sparkly colors but it didn't work for ones that were less sparkly so then they made this formula and are selling it as a gumball. If you don't know what gumballs are, it's basically really cheap. It's like 99 cents for a new product that Silk Naturals has developed and they, they sell them in just like a limited quantity until they get all sold out to basically have people test a new product and they're hoping, I mean, you're in no way required to provide feedback, but they're hoping to hear back from people on their forum and such, you know, to see if how this product is, what people think of it. So this is kind of try number two on cream eyeshadows and it's called Wim and it is a little bit darker. It's like if you added more brown to the color and it has more of like a pearly metallic base and it does have some shimmer to it but it doesn't have nearly as much shimmer as the original eyeshadow and here it is here. And just to show you this is kind of like a lip gloss tube. You get an applicator like this. And the formula is, um, it's not super thick, but it's not like watery, it doesn't drip off or anything. So I really love these cream eyeshadows. I think they're excellent and I hope that, you know, they get positive enough feedback, or at least this latest one, <laughs> gets positive enough feedback where Silk Naturals does release uh, you know, permanent line of these and, you know, lots of different colors because I would absolutely buy them. They go on, you know, easily. They blend out nicely. They don't get patchy or cakey. They're, um, you know, soft and, and creamy enough where you have plenty of time to blend it. It doesn't like dry instantaneously. You don't really have to build it up too much to get a good color, but you can build it. It builds well, you know, doesn't um, get like patchy or anything like that. So I really really like these. I like you know how they apply, how they wear. They last really well on me. The only thing is if you ever used eyeshadows that are like, um, there's been a couple that I've tried that are like this. The Maybelline Cool Effects, those are like super old. They don't make them anymore. But if you ever tried those, of course, this is like a natural version. So the ingredients, you know, are obviously different. There's, you know, natural and like safe preservatives and stuff. There's no parabens. Um, and another one is um, if you ever tried the Lorac 3D Luster Drops. So all of those things last well on me. But if there's any water, whether like you're sweating or it's raining, there's any water, they just like instantaneously get melted off by water. Um, but other than that, they last really good. And so it's just like a different kind of formula, you know, like a water based or <laughs> water dissolvable formula. So I kind of like it because it's super easy to wash off at the end of the day. Whereas, you know, some cream eyeshadows that like really adhere to your eye, you have to get like some kind of eye makeup remover, you can't even really get them off. Uh, with soap and water so you know I like these are easy to wash off and most of the time it's really not a problem for me like if I was going to like a, the pool I obviously wouldn't wear these or if it was raining out <laughs> or if I was going to work out and sweat um, I wouldn't wear these but, but most of the time water isn't really a problem that you have to worry about and especially now it's not really you know summer here yet it is kind of warm but it's not you know that warm and it's not that humid or anything like that so no problems wearing these and they last you know they last pretty much most of the day on me which is really great and um, yes so hopefully they'll become permanent I guess is what I'm trying to say so that's it that's kind of a little bit of a mini mini haul mini collection that I wanted to show you of some products from Silk Naturals that I've been liking that I just haven't had a chance to show you yet so thank you so much for watching. Bye.